Hello everybody, my name is Alan, the Armchair Athlete, and today I am going to uh, be ra racing an Austin Martin on Willow Springs. This track is amazing, I played it the other day for the first time, and it is absolutely amazing. So, there's only four more days left until Project Cars, I cannot wait. But first, in this race, this race was um, absolutely amazing, obviously I'm commentating it after the fact, but... Yes, there are expos and IndyCar type things on this, <laughs> on, in this race, and those things corner extremely, extremely well. And my Austin Martin doesn't really do that because it's a heavier car. So this was an extremely hard race to win. <clears throat> Anyways, right now I am third place. I need to catch up to, I think. I think that's another Austin Martin or Mercedes Mercedes and uh, we need to catch up to him which is going to happen right very soon I found out that uh, going around Willow Springs you can get uh, going up the hills you can go in about third gear and then coming back down going around the corners you can start in second gear so anyone who uh, is just starting off racing on this track that's how I did it and that's how uh, I ended up uh, doing really well in this race. Now, Project Cars 2 is coming out very soon, in four more days. Now, weather and everything like that in the game is going to be absolutely amazing. There's a lot of people looking forward to the active weather and how things interact with the track. Stuff like, let's say it starts raining out. and they've actually scanned the real-life tracks to know where exactly the water will puddle up so it'll puddle up and it will make you hydroplane and stuff like that in the same areas of the track as it would in real life which is absolutely fantastic that is a huge part of realism for Project Cars 2 another thing that they do is let's say it's raining out and you go off the track and you bring mud back onto the track well, that's going to stay there for the rest of the race, which is so interesting. So somebody could really screw up in a corner, plaster the whole corner with mud, and it'll be slippery, that corner, for the rest of the race. That just blows my mind, and I finally got in the first in this race. That car was so hard to try and pass. It's amazing. But the, the amount of realism that Slightly Mad Studios puts into these games is insane it'll also be more slippery so let's say people were doing burnouts so somebody messed up on a corner and they were starting to slide out well now there's rubber on the track so it'll be a little bit more slippery maybe there as well which will be interesting so they've put all these different concepts into project cars 2 that will uh, really make it different than many other games and there I am I finished in first by one and a half seconds. So I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.